Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Last time we just got our seventh badge from Price. We're in the beautiful mahogany town right now, and you may be thinking, oh, it must be time to go this way to Blackthorn City and get our eighth badge and go to the Pokemon League, but that's not the case. Because I actually had this off off camera. But when you walk out of the gym, you get a phone call from, I believe, Professor Elm, and he's saying something's going down at the radio tower in Goldenrod City. So we have to check, check this place out and see what is going on here. You can see there's a rocket member there. More rocket members over there. Rocket member fighting with a girl over here and blocking the flower store. There's rocket members all over the place. So we have to be the underground rebellion here. So what you do is walk over to this guy. And he says, oh, okay, are you ready to become a new Team Rocket member? And there you go. You just instantly became Team Rocket. We may be able to use this disguise to our advantage, don't you think, guys? One thing you cannot do with this disguise is leave. At each end of Goldenrod City, Team Rocket members are blocking off, off all exits. And the only way to uh, leave is if you have your regular suit on. So, if you had any other business to take care of that is not in this city, then go do that because you won't be able to leave. You won't even be able to fly. But wait, what's this? Mr. S. He's like, I'm here to stop Team Rocket. Wait a second. <laughs> Dio Gen Z? What? Is that you? Show yourself! And then he takes off your clothes, which is somewhat disturbing. He's like, hey, you're not a real Team Rocket member. I thought you were a new recruit. Ah, let's fight. Damn you, Mr. S. You know the problem was, he was looking in the windows as we were going to change. He's a creeper like that. I'll sit at your window and watch you change into Team Rocket. And then expose you. Level 40. Yeah. Oh, and just so people know, I haven't been showing any of the uh, legendary dogs in battle yet. Um, the reason being for that is I think it's somewhat cheap to uh, use the legendary dogs for battle uh, that early in the game. I mean, you can do it. I really am not. I have no problem with you doing it, but for the sake of the videos that I'm doing, I just want to raise regular Pokemon, so I'm going to exclude them from my battles, if you guys were wondering where did they go. They didn't go anywhere, they're just not a part of my team. Alright, so he's like, oh no, I gotta go tell the guys upstairs. He's like, ha, I exposed you. I'm an asshole like that. I'm not gonna look in your windows. Oh yeah. And he goes off to uh, devise a plan to take down Team Rocket. He could have just let you do what you were doing. But here you can see the place is flooded with Team Rocket members. And similar to the uh, Mahogany Town secret base, there's a bunch of Rocket members here that we won't be battling just because I don't want to uh, go over 10 limit, 10 minute limit. However, if you guys need some more training for what's to come, which if you're thinking about the next gym is going to be Blackthorn City Gym, Claire the Dragon Trainer, then be my guest and get some extra training in. So, you can do this, just simply battle all these guys, they don't have anything really worthy except for Tatas, and some have Raticate, but most don't. If I'm not mistaken, this guy has pretty much all Rattatas. Yeah, probably. But you know what, we're going to battle him. Kind of because you have to if you want to get by. I don't understand why Team Rocket doesn't understand that. It doesn't matter how many Rattatas or Magic Carps or whatever you have that you throw at me, it's not going to do anything. Let me guess, Rattata? I would have laughed if it was like Gyarados. Something like that. 
from the face. Yeah, so he's pretty pathetic. Gives you 920. Dolores. Okay, Alright, and go here. Right around here. And you can see, uh, I forget what her name is, Buena, Buena, I don't know, her and her, uh, Persian are stuck. They're being held captive by Team Rocket. Mr. Director Guy, we gotta save you. But oh, wait, whoa, hey, look at her, Athena. What's she doing over there? Hmm. Alright, so, the Director. She's, come on, what, why, why don't you come with us? Whoa, oh, you scared me. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. So, we're going to fight Drunken Landa again. Lambda, whatever the name is. Oh, stumbling out of a bar. Where's, where's Bowser? Is there? Okay, so after smacking into a wall in Mahogany Town, he found his way at the Rocket Headquarters. Or not Rocket Headquarters, I'm sorry. Radio Tower. And they're still trying to go through with that whole, we're going to make Team Rocket control Pokemon with radio waves plan. Oh, but look at this. He actually has a good Pokemon this time. Wheezing. I'm pretty sure all he's going to have after this, though, are coughings. Okay, so we lowered our accuracy. The good thing about Rocket Executives is that they tend not to heal their Pokemon. So I don't think we'll have to worry about Hyper Potion or Forest Store or anything like that. How oh, about I missed? Oops. Hopefully that'll finish him off. Oh, hangs on still. Just quick attack that. Okay, now since I'm pretty sure all he has is coughing from here on out. I'm going to switch to my Tokatik. And just use extra sensory because coughing is poison type, so is wheezing. And poison types are weak against psychic moves. And does, does anybody else think that it's funny that the drunken lambda has all coughing and wheezing? I, I don't know, it just. If you don't get it, don't worry about it, but if you do. Somewhat funny. Yeah, that's that's great. I think that's all he has. Well, what a letdown. But you know, drunks—they don't have time to train their Pokemon. They just throw beer bottles at them. You know. What can you do? Another coffin. Ay yeah yeah. This awesome music is so not fitting for Lambda right now. He's not giving us an epic battle like this epic music. Not good at all. Okay. Let me guess. Coughing. It would have been nice if he had a wheezing. <laughs> He's like, where am I? What's happening? Maybe he's Stoner Lambda. I don't know. He looks like a drunk one of the stoners He's stumbling all over the place. It's like, I can't believe you won. Where are my booze? No, I need that money. I guess we just took his money. And he's like, well, you're looking for the real director? You're not going to find him here. He's hidden underground. Wahaha. And he gave us a key item. Okay. Alright, so next time on Pokemon Heart Gold Walkthrough, we will be finding the real director, not Team Rocket Drunken Lambda. See you next time, guys.